Destroyers were designed to be lean, fast, and well-balanced warships. But as World War II dragged on, they became floating experiments in compromise. Navies rushed to add more anti-aircraft guns, radars, death charges, and other equipment, causing many destroyers to become dangerously unstable. Japan's revolutionary Fubuki-class destroyers, introduced in 1928, and its original design already pushed stability limits. Post-1935 modifications added AA guns, death charges, and structural reinforcements, which left some vessels dangerously top-heavy. In 1935, two ships, Fubuki-based ships, torpedo boat Tomozuru and destroyer Inazuma, capsized in rough seas. This forced the Imperial Japanese Navy to recall and modify many ships to improve stability. The U.S. Fletcher-class destroyers were better balanced, but as more 40mm Bofors and 20mm Orlikens were crammed aboard, they too grew top-heavy. Crews sometimes left fuel tanks only partially filled, low in the hull to help offset the added weight. Early radars on them required heavy rotating antennas and masts, which were often mounted high above the bridge, precisely where extra weight most compromised stability. During Typhoon Cobra in December 1944, several U.S. destroyers, Hull, Monaghan, and Spence, capsized. Want to learn about the five most flawed destroyers of World War II? Check out the related video below.